Greetings and salutations, viewer. It is I, Eric J. Chucky. We are playing Final Fantasy VI, my most favorite game ever. Uh, and I would like to talk with you guys as we're heading through the Imperial Continent to the next location about immersion. Um, when I played this game as a kid, especially when I got through that uh, cave to the sealed gate back in the day, um, it felt a lot more epic, you know? I, I could imagine the, the heat roiling off of that lava and, and you know, blistering my characters faces and them sweating their asses off and trying to navigate this cave camping out in that one little alcove where the save point was and you know going in depth on all that shit and i'm sure part of it is because i played the game a whole bunch so like it's not new to me or anything but i feel like it's a little bit lost you know in most game playing um back when i played skyrim more for example i made an effort to immerse myself I would walk slowly in town, and other people do this. Um, and I mentioned this on the podcast before too. But I'd walk slowly in town, and uh, you know, try to do my decisions as my character would, and think things out as my character would. You know, I I, I feel like that kind of excitement and and you know, in depth role playing is missing from a lot of the ways we play games today. Um, I started Red Dead Redemption Two recently. Never played it before, no spoilers, please. I have some of them anyway, but... Um, you know, I try to be in character, but... At the end of the day, it's a Rockstar game, so it's going to want me to play the character they gave me, not necessarily the character I will play, you know. Um, I don't know, I just... You know, I said there wasn't really a big difference from going through it today, as opposed to going through it when I was a kid. Uh, beside being a little bit more clever about the difficulty, I would spam my magic points and my magic spells to try to kill stuff and end up out of magic and unable to heal. And, you know, we got through that cave at some lower levels, not crazy low, but lower. Um, without too much of a big deal. Uh, you know, we had most of our party go down really early on, but after that it wasn't a huge issue. Um, and I think it's just those first two rooms are full of some really nasty monsters. But, uh, you know, that is a big part of, um, why the, you know, what the difference is, I suppose I should say, between playing it as a kid and playing it as an adult. You know, what I used to do was I used to be like, okay, we're going into the, the cave before the sealed gate, it's so hot in there, you know, all that shit. So there's something to be said to let your imagination run wild and just really try to immerse yourself in things. Um, when I played Until Dawn, I only played it at night. Um, not necessarily to be more scary, although that was part of it, but just because it felt more immersive. I love playing Skyrim when it's cold, because I really feel like I'm, you know, oh, i got to hunker down. You know, I'll turn the heat off, and I'll huddle up in a blanket and be like, oh, the, the cold winds, you know. I don't know. Do, do a little bit to immerse yourself in a game, if you can. I think it's me. Let's, let's carry on. So this is Miranda. It's a city we've heard a lot about, we've never been to before. Here's the inn, I don't think there's anything really of import in here. Ooh, grandfather clock. No elixir though. We okay, let's quit missing the door. Miranda used to be this continent's most beautiful town. Look what the Empire's done to it. Oh, looks alright. I like the stone walls. These troopers are crazy. How long can things keep going on like this? Buy some fucking armor. Priest smiters, green braids, mithril helm, mithril vest, mithril mail. Uh that's better for everybody. Let's get Wow, that was expensive. Ouch, my wallet. Uh, yeah. Oh my god, I did not equip these guys. I'm the worst. Can you not equip the... Yeah. Let's equip that shit, my guy. Oh, so it doesn't auto-equip ultimate weapon. Nice, because it knows that your hit points might be a factor in that. Okay. Uh, let's give Edgar... <sighs> what do we want to give Edgar? 
Hero Ring? Yes, we do want to do that. Uh, Zephyr Cloak? Yeah. <laughs> and let's give him Genji Gloves and Gigas Glove. I don't know how exactly that helps. Uh, but Hyperus should go miss. Got to change his gear, of course. Cool. We have Mespers though, right? Yeah. I'm just, I'm dippy, you know? I think I did all the Esper equipping and completely forgot about the other kinds of equipment. Excuse me, sir. Thank you. Glad we're getting too many fights, and that also explains why... No, it actually doesn't explain much. We, we kicked some ass. My son's being forced to serve in the Empire's army. I hope he comes home safely. So this is what the Empire does for fun. I wonder if he gets stuck guarding a town way in the boondocks. How am I supposed to get a promotion now? My dog's the fiercest. Fight! Fight! Yeah, get him. A backwater town like this is our only means of recreation. Yeah, I don't know, man. Play Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> These towns are to play with. Place all bets here. That's despicable. Zan and Albrook, too, fell to the Empire. Jeez, what's going on down here? Guys, don't. Don't do that. He won't stop asking me to marry him. Aisha, my love. Got a remedy. Now she's chasing him. She's going to beat him up because we paused him. Uh, okay, he won't stop asking me to marry him. And I, I understand. Let's go back to that Setzer conversation we had about him being problematic. <clears throat> and how that relationship between he and Maria could have been updated. And, I don't know. Made a little more interesting, I guess. And perhaps the reason I find it interesting is because I grew up with um, stories of, Now I'm going to make you my wife. <clears throat> Which, of course, comes with the uh, connotation that they're going to be performing wifely duties. Um, while that is not necessarily the case, you know, I, I understand in a, in a game for ostensibly children, that's your way to say, Hey, I want to fuck this lady. But it's, I don't know, it just seems kind of weird. Like, and I guess that's people in general, and I guess it's a way to show off that people are fucked up, which is, again, why I don't, yeah, it's why I don't quite get it for Setzer. Like, he's not that backward, he's just got the hots for Maria. Does Maria not have the hots for him? He's very dashing. You know, I just, I don't know, I'd like to see that explored more. I just don't think it, it paints a great picture of Setzer, even in, you know, the 90s when this wasn't like a big taboo thing, when it was just kind of like a, oh, haha, he really is interested in Maria, so we can use Maria as, you know, bait, basically, or we can use Celeste in place of Maria to infiltrate his airship. It was a, it was a means to an end, but in not being explored in more detail, it leaves things weird. Uh, secondarily, removed from the look we're trying to say he wants to sleep with this person but don't want to say it in a kid's game these people who are just trying to get wives is bizarre I, I, I can't imagine entering into marriage in a forced way like I don't it just it's just weird above being icky or whatever like let's take that aside let's pretend it's not it's just strange to me that's what you want okay Maybe that's just me. I don't know. If you disagree, leave it in the comments section below. If you have an explanation, do the same thing. Or just be quiet and watch the video like you always fucking do. I'm fine with that, too. I'm happy you guys are here. I don't care if you're paying super attention or not. I get a trident for Mog. That's cool. Uh, we already have a set of Venom Claws, and I believe the other Claws save and hazard better. Bastard Sword and Boomerang. Cool. Okay, one more house to explore here. I've been saving it for last. <laughs> he sent that book. I read it every evening before bed. So, here's where I kind of fucked up uh, getting excited to show you guys a cool thing. At the point where you have the airship, uh, remember when we helped that soldier out in that town? Um, in uh, Mobliz, where we found Gaul? 
Oh, gal. <laughs> Sometimes, man, those old school words come back on me. It's deep in there. It's entrenched and entrained. Um, we nursed him back to hell. We didn't nurse him back to health. But we, we went and ran errands for him and sent away his mail and made sure his girlfriend was, you know, had faith that he was going to get well and come back and all that shit. Uh, that's the girlfriend. Um, so what I probably should have done to get you guys the whole story is waited until we had access to the airship. And then gone... <coughs> I also should have waited until time was... Okay, we're fine. My mind's just all over the place, you guys. Uh, Cyan learned Cura. Do we really need Seraph on him anymore? Eh, he's close to raise. Eh, yeah. This is a good spell. Okay. So what I should have done is waited and had him, uh, had us go back and forth, um, you know, checking out the, might have fucked that one up, no I didn't, see, I just think it's in the controller, did so much, um, gone to the soldier, talked to him, read the letter, delivered the mail, gone to the lady, talked to her, see what she said, and then gone back and Talk to the guy about the serpent trench or rested or what the hell ever. Um, that way we got the whole story between them, where she was like, oh, he sent the record. Oh, he sent the tonic or whatever. It's small, you know, and it's not a lot of story, but it's kind of cool, like the other things I've showed you guys, that they put that shit in there. They didn't have to, but they did it. Uh, so I'm sorry for denying you that opportunity to see that fantastic tiny bit of storytelling that was a bit of sarcasm it, it's just a little thing it's neat but it's not a huge deal um, but that's where she is she's a real NPC that's kind of nice that part is kind of nice that she's an actual character in the world Yeah, our guys are a lot stronger now. Good stuff. And that feels pretty good, too. Oh, you know, I didn't even think about this, but this is our Velt party plus Edgar. How cool. Uh, you know, I want to move Gao up, actually. No reason. I don't think it does anything mechanically. I just want to... So, you see, this isn't that long of a walk from where we were a bit ago when we first invaded the Empire a couple episodes ago. But uh, it's just unnecessary. The only thing that's different was the guy in Zen doesn't have the Magicite that we need to sell. Um, so what's the point of going there? It is super not different enough to matter. You see as well here, this is kind of interesting, is that the Imperial Capital is well protected. Um, all these mountains make it hard to get in. So, there's a reason the Empire rose. It's, it's a defensible, you know, position. That's kind of cool world building and storytelling. Oof, we are going to overwhoop this dog's ass. break. I think we need Doom yet. Uh, but we're more on that for Vigor or something, aren't we? HP up. Oh, hmm. Does he need death? Death used to be called Doom, because you can't say death on Super... Well, so Nintendo had some really weird, strict rules. Uh, kind of like the way translating stuff into Chinese is these days. Um, they have some very strict cultural rules, so it's usually just better to overdo it and be like, oh, we can't say, you know, holy magic. We have to say white magic. We can't say death. We have to say doom. Which is why you'll see in some games where you can do one thing, but in another game you can't. Um, it's not that they couldn't. It's just that they didn't want to wait and waste the time of sending the game back to Nintendo for it to be approved for one tiny little thing that ultimately doesn't matter that much. <clears throat> 
We'll go ahead and let him learn the magic. What the hell? Let's save the game, because who knows what's going to happen in here. I do, technically, but saving's good. Save early, save often. Oh. Shit, got a little fucked up. What the hell? Oh, the guy who was supposed to steal from us and never did is gone. What about that couple? Also gone. What's going on? What about the old lady in here? She's still here. Telling us to hang in there, giving us a little healing, that's nice. Weapon shop guy is still here. I don't think we need anything. We don't. Well, Sakura, we could get that. Why not? Fuck it. We have the money for it this time. Oh, was that the same returner? No, they just all say that. Okay. Hmm. I hope throwing up guy is okay. I don't see him there. Can we get back into the Magitech Research Facility? Couldn't get in the train track before, or the minecart track. No, it seems blocked off for some reason. Well, I suppose we can do some deductive inference here. Um, the espers came to Vector, they were pissed off. Golly gosh, I wonder what about. Let's check this armor store, there was a weapon in the weapon store, so let's see what they got here. I like this, I like the counter is blocking us from the very nice house that this man has. Uh, twist headband, don't need those anymore, don't need that. Ninja gear... Mm. Let's play one more. Uh... Let's play one more of those, just in case. Just in case. I, you know, it's one of those things where I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. <clears throat> Okay. Everything's on fire. More Narsh guards. We don't know what's going on. There's this building. See? Everyone in this pub is gone now. So that, you know, this is where we were when we traded. We talked, we learned about Kefka. I know about why he's the way he is. And of course, if you remember, the uh, the Elder of Narsh and Bannon and Arvis were all talking about how the Returners and the Narsh Guards were going to use Figaro's technology to get here and fight with the Espers, but now it's just all fucked. And it was like this when we got here. What happened here? Did the Espers do this? No, they couldn't have. Yeah, so Arvis, a little less... Who's like that when I got here? And and more, you know. We didn't do this. This is, you know, what happened. The Emperor is expecting you. This way. You got it, pal. Make sure there's not a treasure there or something. No. Who cool beans? Huh. Emperor Gastola waits inside. Kafka's been in prison for unspeakable war crimes. I hear it's a life sentence. That's interesting. We'll talk to those guys in a minute. Let's, let's not keep the Emperor waiting. Power of the Espers. Phenomenal. I've lost my will to fight. The Emperor's had a change of heart. Sid. The Espers came to save their friends. When they learned the others had perished, they went berserk and trashed the town. Never will I forget their shrieks of rage, and all the screams of terror. We're hanging up our weapons and armor for good. The power of those Espers. I was so naive. They'll shred the world. 
The Empire's power is nothing compared to theirs. We must somehow get them to calm their rage. Humans shouldn't have searched for such power. We shall worry about that later. Tonight, let us enjoy your feast. Everybody's voice switches. There's some people here who'd prefer to keep fighting. Please, before we dine, talk to as many soldiers as you can. Make them understand. <coughs> and now we're timed, so excuse me for not lingering. Please talk to as many soldiers as you can. You have four minutes until dinner. Okay, so I should be able to do all this. Get our preparations right away. One moment, please. Okay, same thing. Cool. I like the Emperor's chair. <clears throat> Kafka's been in prison for war crimes. Here it's life sentence. One person. War's over. Two people. The Espers that emerged from the gate attacked us. The Empire's in shambles. Three people. We've lost our will to fight. Four people. Go to the left. Oh, treasure. Alarm earring, X potion. Cool. We'll check all that later. Oops. Okay. The Emperor learned Kefki's poison in battle. He imprisoned the fiend. Five people. <laughs> Return of scum. Okay, cool. It would be nice if I had had... Uh, we want a cat scratch. Otherwise, yes, just fuck him up. Bushido 1. Destroy, thank you. The fire magic, that takes up a lot of time. Okay, dead, good. Experience points, whatever. We got money, cool. Thank you. Move along. Hmm, not bad. Six people. The Esper surely came to free their friends. Seven people. I'll stop listening to the number of people. It's probably tiring. Emperor's are beast now. Everything will be settled after the banquet. Okay, got a treasure. Magic check research facility has been dismantled. That's why we couldn't go in there. That man's on the toilet. I don't want peace. I want to take a shit in peace. <clears throat> go, do a little bit of that, do a little bit of Stray Cat, do a little bit of Bushido. Cool. Some people fight harder after they're cast down. Alright, cool, whatever. I like the color of the furniture in here. How it's sort of metallic looking. I feel like there's a secret somewhere in here. But I don't care enough to look for it. The Empire will never die! Kefka's scum, it serves him right. <coughs> Leave me alone. War ended before we could use this machine. Kefka's in jail. I don't know what this machine is. You deserve a thrashing. What a dick. I suppose I could be using the drill with him, huh? Oh, wow. One fucking blitz. Nice. You're strong. Maybe you really can stop the Esper's Rampage. Another cool chair like the Emperor's Throne. My whole family was lost in the war. Uh, I want to say something back here, but nope, I guess not. Wasting time, wasting valuable time. Down, down, down we go. Okay. Here we go, more soldiers. We'll never knuckle under. Espers would have dreamed they were that powerful. See the Gale hairpin, that sounds cool. Kefka using poison, how low can you get? I've always hated you. Holy water. Okay. Not gonna go. Is this where we don't wanna go? It is, we'll go in there some other time. Going down here, going out here. Someone ought to thrash you. I heard you're the strongest of turners, so just how strong are you? Shite. Mega armor, huh? That's not what you want. Let's use the drill. Okay, cool, he's dead. Please stop 
Got a bunch of stuff. Save and learn something. Who cares? Not bad. Pretty strong. 23 people. It's only too many people. Never live normal life. 24 people. We got 24. The only person we didn't get was in that prison cell. We'll talk to them later. That evening, the banquet with the Emperor took place. This way, please. You can consider me an ally to the Rejonis. Imagine all of us here together, sharing a meal. First, we must have a toast. We could say to the Empire, we could say to the Returners, or to our homelands. Now you say to the Empire, that seems first of all like pandering. Secondly, he's not too happy about his Empire right now. The Empire didn't do the good things, and he knows that. The Returners, that's kind of up our own asses. Um, so let's say to our homelands. Uh, also, look at those sweet-ass lobsters on the table. Beautiful turkey. Well then, to our homelands. <laughs> Fucking nice. As you know, Kefka's in jail for poisoning Doma's river. What shall we do with him? Leave him in jail. We can pardon him or execute him. Now, executing him would probably be smarter. But this is the Emperor's right-hand man, right? So we don't want to do that. He's obviously let Kefka get away with a lot of other shit. He's not going to take that idea good. Pardoning him is fucking moronic. Um... Let's not suggest that. Let's just leave him in jail. Hmm. Let's let's let him stew in his cell for a while. Then we'll decide what to do. I truly apologize about the poisoning of Dova. No one dreamed Kefka would choose poison. What's done is done. That was inexcusable. Or apologize again. This one I don't fully remember. Um, this is a test, by the way. That wasn't super clear. I'm gonna look it up, because I want cool shit. The more people you talk to and the better you perform at dinner, the cooler the shit you get. Well, honestly, the stuff you get's only okay after a certain threshold, and I'm pretty sure we already hit that threshold. Um, boy, I sure typed in the wrong thing to Google. Guess doll. Dinner answers. I want to say it's apologize again, but <clears throat> okay. The banquet. We want well. This guy just shit because it doesn't actually give me the answers. Aren't you guys glad we're sitting here staring at the static screen? Look at the beautiful spread of food. It's just going to take me just a fucking second. Oh, they're worth they have different point values. Okay. Uh, poisoning of Doma. That was inexcusable. That's actually the answer we want. So I was wrong on that one. I'm so terribly sorry. Kefka's being severely punished for his acts. Also, I swear to rid the world of what poison remains. By the way, with regard to General Celeste. Um, oh, I've always did this one wrong. Uh, was she an Imperial spy? We can ask about that. We can say we trust Celeste. We can say Celeste is one of us. And um, that's the right answer. I thought it was we trust Celeste. That's interesting. Kefka was lying. General Celeste realized the war was too violent before anyone else. Did I fuck up the other ones? No, I didn't. Okay, cool. That's why she joined the Returners. Any other questions for me? So, I want to ask these questions here. Why did you start the war? My desire for power got the best of me. Now I've come to regret it. Well, if I may, I'd like to talk about the Espers. Uh, one more question, please. Why do you want peace now? I feel we need each other's help at this time. One more question, please. Because there is only one more question. Why do we have to talk to your men? Some of my men refused to embrace peace. I felt they'd understand if they actually met you face to face. Alright, let's talk about Espers. 
My empire has been decimated by the Espers that emerged from the Sealed Gate. They're just too powerful. Unless they're stopped, they'll rip the world asunder. Um, let's see what first... Ah, the Espers have gone too far. Yes, the Espers are much too powerful. We don't need to blame and shame today. They're very strong, we know that. After the Espers went on their rampage, I knew I couldn't go on with my war. I asked myself why I had started in the first place. By the way, about those questions you asked me, which did you ask first? Uh, why did you start the war? Right, anyway, more than anything I want peace now. It's true. I want you to understand that. You seem a bit tired. Care for a rest break? I would fucking love a rest break. Oh, yeah. Just stretch the old legs. Get out and around. Oh, we'll be put right if we can achieve peace. We want to test your strength. Won't you fight with us for a couple of minutes? Yes. Let's kick their asses. Um, yeah, we'll show you how strong we are. Suck on that a little bit. And some of this. Damn, probably could have just done that. I can never remember the name of what he calls the, what used to be Pummel. I've used it a bunch. Hey, Cat Scratch, that'll do it. Cool. Just as we thought. I guess I ain't saying nothing. But it's toiky. Mmm, delicious. Shall we begin again? Is there anything you wish to hear me say? I believe that you really want peace, that your war's really over, and you're sorry. That you really want peace? No, that the war is truly over. Wow, I did this wrong as a kid. I understand. I've ordered this war to be over. Now I must ask for a favor. After they devastated my empire, the Espers flew north toward Triangle Island. We have no way of knowing when they'll decide to go on another rampage. We need to find them and convince them to set aside their aggression before that happens. After all that the Empire has put them through, I doubt they'd even listen to us. That is why I need to borrow Terra's power. Only Terra can bridge the gap between human and Esper. I would prefer to send out the armored freighter at all book immediately, if possible. Will you go aboard it? Yes. I'll have my finest warrior accompany you, General Leo. I'm General Leo. Pleasure to meet you. Didn't I see you at Doma? I'm sure I did. So that was General Leo. You. You're Cyan. My liege to the King of Doma. Please forgive me for not being there to stop Kefka. That was not your fault. More character growth from Cyan. That's fucking cool. Also, Leo's a stand-up guy for apologizing. I'll be waiting for you in Albrook. We must find these espers and come to terms with them. You are our last hope. I like that Mog's here. If Terra goes, I'll go. Locke, thank you. The rest of you wait here. I smell a rat. What? No. Agreed. It's hard to just trust the Emperor like that. We should remain here and keep an eye on the Empire. <laughs> Excuse me. Please do. Leave no stone unturned. Right. And you be careful. Okay. So this is all our party is right now. I want to look at Terra much more than I want to look at Locke. So switch that out. Let's at least get them some equipment. Um, gosh. White Cape, I think Zephyr's... Oh, I think they got equipped with the rest of our party. That's nice. 
Uh, let's get him the bracer. Yeah, increases success rate. Oh, Gale Hairpin. Hairpin imbued with wind increases preemptive strikes. That's pretty cool. Alarm earrings. Detects ambushes. That's nice. Uh, changes steel to mug. Yeah, let's do that. And Locke looks like he's in a decent place physically. Yeah, he's got a lot of hit points. Stamina's good. Vigor's good. Let's move him back to the front row. I was thinking that boomerang might have been... No. No, no, that's great, actually. Let's put the ultimate weapon back on Terra. And then that's going to want him... Thunderblade? Really? Not the... Oh, I don't think he can equip the stone one. How about that? Okay. More rare items. Uh, was there anything else? Uh, I suppose we would notice, huh? Kind of blitzed through things. There's nothing else in here. I don't know where Leo came from earlier, but whatever. We've got some exploring to do. War's over. A message from the Emperor. Because you were able to talk to so many soldiers, your rewards are to be as follows. Imperial troops have withdrawn from South Figaro. Ah, oh, fuck, I forgot to show you guys a thing. Oh well. In addition, our troops have also pulled out of Doma. We hereby give you the right to take any weapons you desire from the Imperial base to the east near the Sealed Gate. And this is from the Emperor himself. Another Tintinable. Okay, Charm Bangle. Oh! Your behavior at the banquet is impeccable. Please take this away. Ward Bangle. Okay, cool. So we got another Tintinabulum. That's cool. Uh, we got a Ward Bangle, which we are not going to use, but Wristband Enchanted with Charms to ward off monster encounters. It doesn't do it entirely, but it does give you some uh, immunity to random encounters. You don't get into as many. Old Brooks of to the south of the Empire. Magitek Armored Holding Ship plies the waters between there and Triangle Island. We'll keep a close watch here at the Imperial Base. You deal with the Espers. First things first. Let's see what was going on in here. Never will I be able to forgive Kefka. Uh, how dare they put me in a place like this! I don't believe this. What a bore. So you can see why we didn't talk to him while we were timed. Also, here's a fun thing. You can use the toilets. Just a silly cute thing. Okay, we are looking around for the rest of our party members. I don't know where they all are. It's been a while. Yeah, and a lot of these soldiers disappeared, too. That guy's still there, though. Um, anyway, the thing that I meant to show you guys, and I fucked up and forgot, not a huge thing, but um, if you sail back to South Figaro from Nakia after... You have the airship, but before the Emperor pulls his troops out... Um... Oh wow, the fucking Emperor's there. General Leo is waiting in Olbo. Please head for Triangle and then look for the Espers. I don't remember him being there. Wild. Um... Anyway, uh, if you uh, go there, then... Obviously the place is under Imperial Watch. So you are kind of like smuggled out in a treasure chest by the, the ship captain. And I'm, I'm really sorry I didn't get to show you guys that. I really meant to. And then forgot that basically the series of events that um, that this is what the end of, of the events is. Not a huge deal. It's just another one of those little things. You know, what happens if I decide to take a ship and go to... South Figaro from Nakia, now that I have the airship. That's what happens. You get smuggled out. Okay, looks like Edgar's the only one there. Ah, oh, there's Sabin. 
Do you really trust the Empire? I have an awful feeling about this. Makes sense. Can't just forget about Espers. Could Gestahl have meant such a thing? Team up with the Empire to track down an Esper. The war, it's over, right? I think they also say the same thing. Excuse me, sir. We didn't have to do a thing. The Empire's troops just ran away in terror. Smells like alcohol. Smells like father. That's a nice tidbit. Kapo. Um, he doesn't specifically mention the alcohol while he's in here. But he does mention it smells like his dad in here when you come in in the Super Nintendo version. So yeah, I, I thought so, but that's the one window we have to talk to that guy who tells us Kafka's fucking backstory. I'm glad we got that. Look, I will miss the, the stupid cute cutscene in South Vigoro if we get to, you know, actually learn important details about major characters in the game. <coughs> okay. Don't need to do anything there. Don't need to do anything here. Um, there is another cutscene, however, that I am not going to let us miss, but it's going to involve some walking and some danger. We gotta love a little danger now. Right? Okay. Just making sure we don't have anybody else missing. Let's see, we talked to Cyan, we talked to Edgar, we talked to Gao and Mog, we talked to Sabin. I believe that just leaves Setzer, right? Lock and Terry, yeah. So, here we go. Honestly, if this is too difficult, we might be using that fucking bangle. Ooh, a whole ass antidote. Now we already mugged, let's just attack it. Oh, we didn't equip block with an Esper, did we? Or Terra, for that matter. Um, we had, what, Seraph on her? Curve? What do we have on her? Siren. That's right. Oh, well, we got Siren. So. Yeah, we got our health up some. That's cool. Uh... need the strength that much. Let's get some more magic points. And lock. We could use somebody else who knows Cura. So there you go, pal. Fuck. Yeah, like I said, the, look, if you see on the little map down there, the, the lighter gray areas are all mountains. Um, which makes the Empire a pretty uh, defensible position. Terra's Berserk now. Good thing I only wanted her to attack. Oh, he's wearing Thunderblade, so it casts Thunder. That's funny. There we go. Berserk's one of those statuses that goes away at the end of battle, like sleep. Oh. No, we don't want to go that way. I might knock out our magic points just to live our fucking lives here. Both no Thundara, let's get this shit going.
What level are these characters? Mog's at 22. 20 and 20. Oh, did they level up Buck? Or did he level up when I was looking? Uh, either way. That's the thing that changes it to Mug. You know, let's put it on Terra. Let's give this instead of the Zephyr Cloak. Uh, Ward Bay. Cool. See, we're already running into fewer monster attacks. Now, it doesn't get rid of them entirely. See. But it does decrease them a lot. Oh, she's preserved. Might as well mug, I mean, you know. Nice. Lock room cure. Yeah, we've seen Fira, we've seen Blizzara. I like Blizzara though. We'll cast it. Nice. The sound effects used to be ingrained into my brain. They still kind of are. No, I don't want you, although we'll be using you in a moment. That's what we want. First of all, heal me. Secondly, okay, so no one is here, <coughs> as you can expect. What if we go in here? There's a little cutscene for you. Wow, what a ship! The landing really messed up the engine. It'll take a while to fix. I'll help. No machine can stop me. Don't touch anything. You know, we could really speed this baby up if we axed the casino and streamlined her a bit. You little... Get out of my sight! I could really make it at least twice as fast. You love this ship more than anything, huh? Actually, when I was young, there was something I was mad about. Huh? In my youth, I dreamed of having the world's fastest airship fly across the open sky. What changed? At the time, there was a person who piloted the Falcon, the fastest vessel in the game. Sometimes we were the worst of rivals, but other times we were the best of friends. We always egged each other on to go faster and higher, and she disappeared along with her ship. I felt like I lost my spirit. Poor Daryl. Heavy fucking backstory from Setzer, and he's gone. Now, I think he might be in his usual place. Um, so yeah, uh, wow, what a super optional cutscene. What a ridiculously fucking optional cutscene. We went really far out of our way. There he is. The bears aren't finished yet. He'd better take the boat from Old Book. Yeah, how easy is that to miss? Would you, listener, viewer, have considered coming all the way down here? Okay, let's go ahead and put... Uh, no, let me change hers. Let's put her Zephyr Cape back on. Good night over here? No. Let's ride that chocobo.
So that explains at least why Setzer so far has not seemed to give a fuck. Um, you know, why we had to egg him on to help us fight the Empire, why he is who he is in the first place. Um, and also why I think just revamping his story a little bit would be cool, because I think it would sell that idea more than him wanting a wife to settle down with, you know? Maybe that's just me. Okay, they said they unlocked this base here. So let's go in. Nice. Angel wings. Remember those things that were on sale for a lot at the auction house? X potion. 8,000 gil. High ether. Reflect ring. That casts reflect automatically. We don't really like that right now, but... Wow, that was a lot of money. Hermes shoes. Another set of those is never bad. Good lord. 20,000 gil. Elixir. Alarm earring. Another one of those to prevent back attacks and stuff. Angel ring. The thing to cast to regenerate. And an elixir. Yeah. So, that was quite a haul. Let's go ahead and look at what these items do. Uh, wings made from an angel's feathers casts float on the wearer. Ring adorned with angel rings. Wings casts regen on the wearer. Nice, nice, nice. Um, I think we're okay with what we got right now, though. So, yeah, the only reason you could conceivably need to come down there um, to see that sets or cutscene is if the rest of your party didn't get unequipped and you needed their items, but they do. Oh my god. See, I'm holding B. I'm doing that. Can you imagine if I had sprint shoes on? And that's how I ran all the time. Oh, so we can go back in here. I was curious. We're not gonna, because we have two people, and I remember how badly we got fucked up a minute ago. So... Okay. Ooh, another green beret. Kind of don't use those anymore, but whatever. Cool. Is it just me or is our uh, ultimate weapon getting a little longer? Mithril Rod. That's cool. Let's take a look at that. I don't think we got one of those. Plain Rod Forge for Mithril. Okay. Neat. Yeah, let's keep mugging them. Why not? Tiger mask. Oh, that's good. Locker region. Cool as hell. I think you still got plenty of other shit to learn, so we'll leave the Esper on him. <coughs> mask shaped like a roaring tiger's head. Oh. No, we don't want the stone blade. That's what we want. No, we don't want ah, spent one. Can he equip the tiger? No. I think Gao can. Save it and Gao. Yeah. Good item, though. Very cool. Uh, probably a reference to the wrestler Tiger Man. Who's been around for the time in the world. <laughs> so we're back to Albrook. Sadly, I don't think he's No, now maybe we can get along with our lives. Except the other guy's dialogue doesn't change. Strange. Business has been picking uh, back up in the port. Maybe the economy will make a recovery. We can only dream. I 
I heard some espers flew out of the mountains near the base and thrashed the troopers there. And there's such tight wads, they're raking in the cash. Wouldn't want to be in their shoes, though. The espers are raking in the cash? Since the soldiers are leaving, business is completely dried up. Oh, better keep my mouth shut. Yeah, I remember when this place was all glitzy and glamorous. Now that the war's over, the soldiers are no longer occupying the city. It's kind of quiet in here. Still buy some cool shit if I wanted to. But I'm okay. I don't want to buy the cool shit. Some strange guy is trying to sell glowing stones when I wouldn't take when he said he was going to Zen. So there's your clue to check out Zen, because it's out of the way. All's well. Where did the Espers attack the Empire? Oh, is that just where we came out of? No. I think there was a guy in that place. Let's go back and look again. Is that Scholar? And this is the guy who told us about the ultimate weapon. Which we now have. Oh, okay, that's it. <coughs> the artist guy. <sighs> okay, well, let's get Satan. General Leo is waiting for you. Oh, I received the teleport stone. What do you know? Nice. I don't actually know where all of these are. I'm not like some genius or anything. I just check everything. It's worth checking. Like, those big animate looking like these guys here, these don't have shit. Okay. Magic armor is being refurbished. So we can't use it, is basically what he's saying. General Leo's holding a meeting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> well, let's leave him alone for now. Once we find an Esper, we'll be able to restore peace. I don't know what everyone else is worried about. These guys seem legit. So clear the engine room. It's dangerous. That's what everybody tells me. There you are. Another of the Empire's generals and a personal hired in town will be traveling with us as well. Allow me to introduce General Celeste and Shadow. Something wrong? No. My departure isn't until tomorrow. I've arranged some lodging for you. Please, get some rest. Celeste. Celeste. I'm working for the Empire, but don't worry. They didn't hire me to garrote you. Thanks, pal. Well, let's go to the inn. Let's get some rest. General Leo told us about you, by all means. Come on. Why won't you say something to me? I, I actually hit A too fast there, sorry. Even if it was only a little, I doubted you. I'm still your friend. Celeste. I 
I mean, maybe you don't doubt her. I always had faith in her. You guys remember. I'm playing, of course. I sowed the seeds of doubt. I like to keep it interesting. Well, let's ride out. All right, let's go. So Triangle Island is actually up in the upper right corner of the map. You can kind of see it there. Well, you could until the map went away. All systems are okay. We should arrive tomorrow morning. Won't rest until then. Oh, cool. It's later. Yep, engine room is still dangerous. Engine room very dangerous. <coughs> Can't sleep. Now uh, your uh, your emotions have returned. Funny, isn't it? I was used by the Empire. Even had my thoughts ripped from me. Here I am, cooperating with the enemy. People are people. Uh, not all of the Empire are like Kefka. So, what about you? And me, you were being used as a kind of biological weapon. And because I didn't do anything about it, I'm no different than Kafka. I'm the product of a human and an esper. Will I ever be able to love someone? Of course. But I haven't felt that way yet. You're still young, but you'll understand someday. I'm sure of it. But I want to know what love is now. I want to know who love is. Okay. there. Thought I'd sleep out under the stars. Did you overhear what we were just talking about? I didn't mean to overhear anything. Um. I can't help you. You must look within for answers. In this world, there are many who've killed their emotions. Don't forget that. to anyone else, oh shredded one. I think I'm gonna... <laughs> little comic relief there for you. Uh, now you can see Triangle Island up there. I don't know why we don't go all the way to Triangle Island. I guess because they would tort it. Also in the original game, they, uh, in SMES, they said that a Crescent Island. Rumor has it the power of magic still exists on Triangle Island. 
Why are you guys calling this Triangle Island? Oh my god, I am hashtag triggered. We're almost at Triangle Island. When we disembark, we'll split into two groups. Slash and I will form one group, Tara, you can go with Lock and Shadow. If you spot the Espers, report it once. <coughs> Let's go. Shadow. Hey. Lock. Um. I. Come on. Okay, so, hey Shadow, long time no see. Uh, good thing about that, Sakura. Yeah, it's the best thing we have, really. We could give him a thief knife. It's not as good on attack, but he would also be stealing when he hit. Actually, fucking relics. Let's get this boy a Genji glove. And, um. I have a hyper wrist handy? Yeah, there we go. Sakura and Assess. He's, he's a danger man. <sighs> so I, 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 I was going to just stop here and not... Oh, I'm glad they leveled him up for us. Uh, and not really be a butt about anything. And, you know, talk about all the cool shit we were about to do. But this this kind of triggers me, like I said. Um, yeah, I'm going to Google it while we're sitting here. Fuck it. This up in the upper right of the map. That's trying wild. Hysterically. Hysterically. Historically. Um, in Final Fantasy games, Triangle Island is a little island at the edge of the map, ish, where secret weird shit is. It's like that in 7, um, I believe there's an island like that in 8, I think there's one in 9, I can't remember off the top of my head now, uh, and there's one in 6, um, probably in other games too, I don't remember off the top of my head. Uh... For some reason, this game translates it to Triangle Island. Yeah, that's not even official. That is frustrating. Why would you change that? So, this island isn't really a crescent, nor is it really an island. It, it's a violent misnomer. Well, I mean, it is. Uh, if we go see, see, it's cut off entirely from, I believe, the belt. <clears throat> nice. That's some decent fucking damage, too. <coughs> oh, yeah, these guys are snort. Terra's gone. She's dead. Gone forever. Nice. She's not actually, of course. She just got snooted out of the battlefield. Yeah. Yeah, that's the belt. Yep, and there's Mobilis. So, this is how close we were to this place this whole time. Bam. Ooh, Gaia gear. Ooh, that's hot. Mm. And Lockler and Kira. That was what we really wanted from him to have that Esper. Uh, let's check items. Gaia gear. Clothing that absorbs earth damage. So that's cool. Who can wear it? Terra Lock, Shadow, Sabin, Celeste, Sensor, Mog, and Gal. Uh, is it better than the Mithril Mail? Fuck yes it is. Nice. So yeah, that's a little frustrating <coughs> that they dicked up that translation. Uh, that's not even a translation, it's like how it was in the original game. 
I, I don't know why they made that choice. That's a really weird choice. There's a couple of times elsewise in this game where they made some odd choices for dialogue and just to things characters say. But sometimes they lean harder on the uh, SNES translation, which is, you know, that's kind of the point. And then sometimes they do dumb shit, like trying to and that really frustrates me. Fortunately, I don't think they mentioned the name of this continent again, so it's whatever. But uh, yeah, just, just there at the end of the episode, I got real upset. Uh, we are on the precipice of some interesting shit. So, <clears throat> I'm going to save here. I know it's kind of a shorter episode, but uh, none of these episodes are really short in the traditional sense, so I'm sure you'll survive. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you're enjoying yourselves. I hope you enjoyed the, the cool character interactions. I like that once our party got established, basically everything that has happened after the big fight, uh, you know, including during the big fight, has been big character interaction shit. Um, I love those parts. And in the original game, there were a couple more. And I think I've mentioned this before, but um, if I change anything about the game, there would be even more of those. Uh, when I say original game, I mean like the original concept for the game. There were a couple more of those incidental, optional character interaction pieces like we had with Setzer just a moment ago. Um, also, Terra on the ship, talking to Shadow, talking to Leo about feeling love, uh, launched a thousand other ships of the relationship fanfic variety. Um, this is popular, popular combinations there. It's Terra and General Leo, and Terra and Shadow. And if you're interested in those, you can go to your local fan fiction repository and read them up. I read a couple myself, and they're usually pretty nice. But uh, that's all I'll say for now. Uh, thank you guys for watching. White out.